Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gaynor. I'm off Spoke Aiden. And as we all know, today is 22 years, and so yeah. we want to show our respects and, yeah. and, you know. Watch a video about the story of what happened in 9 11, eh? Yeah, yeah. So it's getting straight into this one. This one is called The Story of 9 11. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. I wonder how many people like got injured that weren't in the building. Do you know what I mean? Like they were just at the bottom and just like got hit for all, like from the building falling. Do you know what I mean? There was a lot. Was there? Yeah. Isn't 11 crew members quite a lot? No, not really. I wouldn't have thought there'd 11 crew members on board. Well, if you think you've got the pilot, the co-pilot. Yeah, and then there's normally three attendants. I would have thought. No, in each section. You've got first class, business class, and then economy. Oh, that's on, like, bigger planes, though, eh? Yeah, well, this, this was a big plane. Yeah. Where was it meant to go? Like, was it meant to be a longer flight? Um, I'm not probably sure. tell us. It might tell us, to be fair. No, it was coming in. It was flying in. To New York? Yeah. But it took her from Boston, though. Yeah, because they diverted it. They turned it around. Yeah, I know, but where was, where it, was it meant it to go I'm from sure Boston? Do you know what I mean? Cockpit's not answering. Somebody's stabbed in business class. And um, I think there's mates that we can't breathe. I, I don't know. I think we're getting hijacked. We have some planes. Just stay quiet and you'll be okay. We are turning to the airport. If you're just joining us, you're looking at dramatic pictures of New York's World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, where a short time ago we are told that a plane crashed into the upper floors of the westernmost tower. I was somewhere between 74 and 72 in that stairwell when the plane second plane went through our building. And it went through our building between floors 77 and 82. So we were just a few floors below the strike zone. Never felt anything like that in my was not looking at That building, that fire skip, well, that we're inside, this concrete bunker starts to shake so violently back and forth. The handrails breaking away from the walls. And that's the chance we had for the first time to encounter the police and the firefighters and the paramedics from New York City and the Port Authority. Just the looks in their eyes. No words. Just the looks in their eyes. They knew that they were going up and they knew that they were never coming back. like it was on purpose. You saw a yes, plane? Yes, I just saw a plane go into the building. Why do you say that was definitely on purpose? It, because it just, it just flew straight into it. I walked up to him and leaned over and said, a second plane hit the second tower. America is under attack. Today, we've had a national tragedy. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. I was going to work, and when I heard this huge noise, I just get right away, get out of the car. Then we same, I saw that the plane was coming down, and Around this area, the wing goes up and down this way. Then with the second, it just crashed right away.
First, you hear the sound of the twisting steel and the crumbling concrete of what once was the South Tower, the building that we had been in just eight, nine minutes earlier. Um, My husband, Tom Burnett, he was a passenger on Flight 93 that morning. The phone rang in on call waiting. It was Tom. I said, Tom, you're okay. And he said, no, I'm not. He said, I'm on an airplane that's been hijacked. It's Flight 93 from Newark to San Francisco. He said, they have already stabbed a guy and they're trying to get into the cockpit. On his fourth and final call, he said they were waiting until they were over a rural area to take back the airplane. And as we sat there listening, I said to him, you sit down, you be still, be quiet, and don't draw attention to yourself. Well, he didn't listen. He screamed into the phone, no, no, no. If they're going to crash this plane, we're going to do something. He hung up the phone and led the crew and passengers down the aisle and into the cockpit. United 9-3, have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. He's down? Yes. When did he land? Because we he, have information. He did, he did not land. Oh, he's down? Yes, yeah, somewhere up northeast of Camp David. The police officer told everybody to form a human chain, and we held on to each other, and he flashed the light, and he directed us to Building 5, and we went out Building 5. Did you see people bleeding, and what, what did you see? Oh, everybody could see. Do you want blood? Here's blood. Everybody's bleeding. People are laying all over the floor. It's horrible. It was as though day turned to night. I'm sure you've heard the description already. It was unbelievable, like a war zone. I felt horrified, because it's like, you don't know what's coming. They kept saying, it's another plane coming. And all you hear was this rumbling, people was crying, people was jumping out the window. They was waving, like trying to like say, help me. Like you see their arms. And then you saw the man jump down and he just, everybody was jumping. It was, it was crazy. That would probably be the worst thing to see, wouldn't the people like jumping I, from I the remember building, seeing also. it on the TV. I remember thinking, the, the panic, do you stay here and burn, or do you jump to your death? It's, you know, yeah. it's a choice. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. But they have failed. Our country is strong. I didn't know that. The people have died since. Yeah. Yeah, from like emphysema and asthma and... Since 9-11 related illnesses. Because mm. all that dust just stays on your lungs and you mm. can't breathe. Damn. It's a horrible story, isn't it? Oh, it's terrible. It's yeah, I, did, I didn't know there was meant to be four, though. Because I thought there was one that went into like the, pe the Pentagon or yeah, something. Yeah, one, one, one went into the Pentagon, but there was a fourth flight that they, they took down um, as soon as you could get like... I remember it, them taking it down 
Um, but I also... What, did they kill the hijackers? Um, yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. Were, they were killed, yeah. I think that's what he was saying when, he, when he's like, he's down. They yeah. thought they landed, but he was, yeah, I no, think he was just saying that the hijack is down. Yeah. 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 Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for us, please. That'd be much appreciated. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.